Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting video. Rival Showdown is the title of episode 85 of the Journey's anime, part 1 of their two-part ultra class combat. Ash vs B has just been released. What is the outcome of this conflict? Let's see what we can learn. But before we dive into it, drop us a like, share and subscribe to our channel Pokemon Planet. With that being said, let's begin. Before they arrive into the so on side gym, the day before the battle, the episode begins with a recap of Ash's accessions to the Ultra class. It appears that B is a key gym leader in the anime. That means we have no idea if Alistair appears in the anime. She is training with all of her Pokemon over there. A Machamp, a Pangoro, a Haolucha, a Hitmontop, a Graplock, and a Phalanx are among her Pokemon. She also has no idea who Ash is and how to say his name, which is quite amusing. Instead, he'll be referred to as the Riolu Trainer. Before Karina comes, Ash displays his evolved Riolu and all of his other Pokemon. At first, it appears that she's going to scold B for calling her soft in an earlier episode, but it turns out that she is actually giving her a present, Puffs of Kalos. She was simply apologizing for not bringing her favorite dessert with her. While eating, they struck up the conversations and discover that Karina and B are friends. As the two opponents shake hands and wish each other luck in the battle, the next day, Karina is enthusiastic for the combat the next day and say they will support both of them. We can witness two separate things as they emerge. B possesses a Dynamax band while Ash possesses a Keystone. The duel begins after the announcer gives a brief introduction to the audience on both Ash and B. This episode's combat is a one-sided affair. We won't go over each maneuver because you can do it by watching the episode. But I will note a few things. It appears that there is some strategy going on, which is crucial in a high-level conflict like this. Ash begins with his Pikachu, but due to its limber ability, he must soon switch. Pikachu's Electro Web can't catch it while Graplock tentacles give it a range edge. He then summons Lucario, who has previously met Graplock. After a double team, it gets behind Graplock, but Graplock dodges the Aura Sphere with the tech before being summoned back by B. Instead, she is bringing Hawlucha to this location. Because it isn't Graplock, Ash tries to rush in against Hawlucha, but he is punished as he is hit by the high jump kick, a wing attack which it deflects and a sky attack before B calls Hawlucha back. She instead pulls out her Machamp. Machamp is B's ace, as Karina points out, and Machamp is a formidable opponent for Lucario. With two of its arms, it may seize Lucario's arm and then attack with the other two. We also enjoy how, despite the fact that Machamp should be slower than Lucario, B compensates by utilizing Bullet Punch, which has priority. It's one of those instances where the game and the anime lore collide, which I really enjoy. And this segment is particularly cruel, as Ash is unable to get anything going and is befuddled by a barrage of bullet punches. He even tries to utilize his keystone early, but Lucario refuses and rejects the mega evolution, eventually breaking free with a headbutt from a champ's firm grasp. Ash apologizes to Lucario for his haste and worry. Bullet Punch is a Steel-type move, hence it's ineffective against Lucario. Then something annoying occurs. Leon decides to come in for no other purpose than to give a soliloquy about how Ash and Lucario have such a strong friendship that they are on an equal footing as trainer and Pokemon. But after that, both Ash and B are even more eager to fight Leon, and the episode concludes with B using strength and Ash utilizing reversal. What interests us about this contest is how little offensive Ash receives. In his clash with Faulkner, he seemed to get a little more offense in the beginning before Faulkner took over in the middle and Ash returned towards the conclusion. It's the polar opposite in this episode. Apart from the Electro Web early on, Ash has gotten almost little offense. This, on the other hand, adds to the intrigue of the match by making you wonder how Ash will be able to beat B at all. What do you guys think of this battle? Was it an epic one? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel Pokemon Planet. Also press the bell icon so you don't miss out on more of such content. See you in the next video.